What's up, y'all? John Leguizamo here at Late Show Sketchbook. I'm going to draw five superheroes, and it's your job, not mine, to figure out what I'm drawing, because God help us all. I grew up with a lot of friends who are graffiti artists and whatnot, but I was always the worst tagger. Like, people couldn't even read my tag. What, what, they go, so what does that say, John? And I go, well, it says... Pedo, that was my, my first tag, and it sucked, and so it never, it never blew up, and it never became a famous graffiti artist like my friends. So I didn't have that skill set, and I, I think you can tell that I don't have that skill set by my drawing, but that's okay, because I have other skills. All right, now it's up to you to guess what the hell I drew. Does he, does he have a crotch? He does have a crotch, right? It's, it's a man. Isn't it? All right, what is it? You don't know? What's wrong with you? This is beautiful. You should, we should put it in the museum. Same thing. All right, Spider-Man. I can't even remember what they... <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has the thing around the head, right? Right? And then... Okay, I'm going to give up that she... It's a, it's a female. And she had black hair. All right, did you figure it out already? No? All right, all right. And this is her face. All right, the, the, I'm gonna do the best I can with the face. And, all right, so it's a little funky. No, it's not, actually, it's not too horrible for a beginner. And then she had the lasso of truth. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, that's really horrible. Thank God I didn't go to art and design school because I would have failed out. I would have been living somewhere, you know, doing some menial job. Well, those are terrible arms, I don't know why. And you know, it's hard to draw under pressure. That's the other thing. All right, what is it? Who is she? Wonder Woman. Now, this was an old school comic book guy. He was an old superhero, uh, big time. I'm, I'm gonna do the, the one that people recognize him maybe a little less of. You know, he was that 1950s superhero, and he had, you know, the square jaw, and the ear. he had two ears, I think he had two ears, right? Uh, and, you know, pretty pretty basic superhero, and and he, he worked at, a, at, the, at the Daily Planet, am I giving too many clues? And he wore a tie like me, and he wore a suit, and he went under the name of Clark Kent. Ah, I gave it all away. See, that was, that was not too bad. Clark Kent. Superman. This was actually one of my favorite superheroes of the era because I love this whole group of comics because they weren't like super, super uh, powerful, you know what I mean? And, and, and uh, th th this is when she gets, she's creating her, her, her power thing. And, um, and, and, and they were like, they had, they had weaknesses. And, and their powers weren't perfect, you know? And I think I, I like that more about a, a superhero. And uh, I don't know what's happening to her face. It's looking like she's an ice cream cone. But uh, I think that's what happens when she uses her powers. Oh, look, look at that. And uh, I don't know what happened to her chin. It's like a beard. Maybe she needs Botox or collagen. Uh, and then, uh, oh man, her costume. What was her costume? I think, I, yeah, well, this is her arms. And this is, oops, well. I don't know why my bodies, I used to draw better bodies. I don't know what happened. Maybe I need more caffeine. Do you have any, can you give me a cup of coffee? Maybe that'll help me. Maybe alcohol. I think alcohol would be the, the thing that helps people draw. And I think she had a belt. I don't know. I think, why don't you show me pictures of these things before I'm drawing them so I can have a, this is a total recall out of memory. And obviously the memory has failed me many a times. And uh, have you figured out who that is? That is really scary. Uh, that storm. Yeah, that's right. Now this one is dear and close and personal to me because it's the one that I created. This is my comic book. And I guess I'm just gonna go, cause I kind of made him look a little bit like me cause I'm an egotistical maniac like the rest of all actors are. You know, we're all in love with ourselves. Even though most actors won't tell you, uh, I'll tell you about them. And so this is kind of me. And uh, so see, it's kind of looking like me a little bit. Uh, it's a self-portrait, basically. I mean, it's, a, it's got a sad, pathetic face, but because I think the real me is kind of sad and pathetic. I just put on this facade to, that's kind of performative. And, um, and I, I told him to make him like he uses steroids. 
I don't, obviously, as you can tell by my, my thin uh, physique. P. Phenomix, that's right. I think an A++. Yo, that was Late Show Sketchbook, and we're done, and that was Phenomex, a uh, character that I created. Luckily, I didn't draw it because it's pretty horrible, but this is the real artist, and this is Todd McFarlane's variant cover, and they're both out. If you don't know who Todd McFarlane is, you better Google him because he's one of the baddest illustrators in the business. November 10th, go get it.